When I was a kid, I did a lot of things, skateboarding, skiing, and TV parkour. But something that I've never been interested in was photography. The funny thing is that all changed in 2016 when I decided to start skating again. So, I don't know if I understood this, but you hated photography and you do it all the time now? Yes, I think so. But that does not make sense at all. I mean, you hated photography. How can you like something that you hated? I know it's confusing for you, but let me explain you how... Well, I call that an outtake. I guess I've talked about that before. I'm using this Joby tripod at the moment. Wait, this one, and it doesn't work very good, so I totally don't recommend this. If you believe that it's cool to have something like this for vlogging, it's not at all. It maybe looks cool, but it's not cool at all. <laughs> Two times that I've almost destroyed my camera because of this one, and this doesn't work how it should work. Well, this stupid product shouldn't be the topic of today's video. Let's go on with the story. Skateboarding changed my life. It's crazy if I think about it now, but it got me into this whole creative world. It was such a moment of twist in my life. It opened up a new chapter of everything and it got me into, into buying a camera and starting to take photos of everything, developing my craft and getting good at landscape photography. That led me to print one of my photos on a skateboard. It also got me into starting a little cloning company with my friends, you know, trying to be creative. Followed by a few years of skateboarding and making videos and it even got me into this whole craziness of YouTube. I started to make a lot of videos and this platform really got me and one day I had this other idea. I wanted to try something new and started the grip tape company with two friends, Slippy Grip Tape. You know, these are just a few of the things that I do because of skateboarding and now it was time to try something new again. When I first heard about the word podcast, I didn't care much about it, but months go by and it's one of the main things that I consume in the internet. This trending medium called podcast interested me so much that I decided to start my own podcast. I thought about starting my own podcast for such a long time and I finally decided to do it. It's live now called 730 days. But more about that later, let's move on with the actual story of how skateboarding got me into photography. You know, still today I often think about this topic. It was a very interesting time in my life. All of a sudden I discovered the artist inside of me. These are the things that I have to deal with when I go to the skate park. You know, everything that I do now in my life is based on skateboarding and on my love for skateboarding. So I guess I need to thank skateboarding for all of it. Skateboarding just opened up so many new doors for me and I'm so thankful for it that I now go skateboarding. You know, that's the whole purpose of this YouTube channel. If I inspire one person to start skateboarding and to start taking photos, then I'm happy with what I'm doing. What is going on with these brakes? <laughs> I don't understand how I can always break my bike. So recently I had a flat tire in my e-bike. Now, uh, now I'm using this bike because I have a flat tire again and the brakes are about to break. At least it sounds like that. it happened again I don't even know what to say about it it's the third time in one year it just happened a month ago that I uh, twisted my ankle and had to go to hospital I couldn't skate for two weeks and then stupid Tansi didn't wait long enough and you know I always thought what the doctors tell you doesn't matter and I went skateboarding too early 
I twisted my ankle again. Here's what happened. I went to the skate park. He saw me driving my bike to the skate park. Before I even started filming something for this video, I tried a trick. It was, we have this up box at the skate park and I tried the manual backside 180 out and failed. My right foot went under the board. I twisted it and couldn't walk anymore. It hurt a lot and I had to go to the hospital. They told me that now I need to wait for like two or three weeks till I can skate. Skateboarding is just made for hurting yourself. But anyway, that's not the actual topic of this video. The topic should be how photography got me into skateboarding. And that's something that I find very difficult to talk about in these videos because there's not enough time to talk about all the things and all the different creative ideas that I have and different topics that I'm into. So that's why I decided to start a podcast. I told you about the podcast before. I've been working on it since a few days now and it's out now. It's called 730 Days. If you would like to see or hear why it's called 730 days, I link the podcast below. If you don't know what a podcast is, just click the link below, you will see it. I'm hyped about introducing this podcast. I hope that I will make the consistent uploads. I want to upload a podcast episode every Friday. I don't know if I'm gonna make that. I would like to talk about different topics and maybe invite some guests, but you can see everything and hear everything below. I would say the easiest way to describe the podcast is it's an extension to this YouTube channel. It is the extra information and inspiration that you maybe need. So if you're interested in listening to the podcast, as I said three times already, it's linked below. I don't know what to do in these next two weeks because I can't skate. Maybe I'm just gonna make a few videos about random stuff like photography um, I don't know we will see I can already walk again it's better than last time last time I couldn't walk for a few days now I can walk again that's it for this vlog I hope you enjoyed this vlog I hope you are hyped about the podcast that I started and I hopefully see you then in the next video please subscribe below please check out the podcast and peace Tschüss.